I think the most impactful part for me today was probably David's session because what it did is it really put coaching in context of a development experience for both the individual but also for the organisation and I've often been an advocate of coaching as an OD intervention and I found what he was talking about about what they've done in Google and just how to think about coaching and how not to be so attached to coaching as a, a, a profession or a function but as an enabler was, was really valuable and I think we heard that later on with Charmaine talking about the enable, enable, enable rather than manage, manage, manage. I, I think this message of communities coming together to co-create the way forward for coaching is a, is a valuable message. For me the conversation we've had here today is different from many other conversations I have when I come into coaching networks and communities because it's only people in organisations and because they're largely people running and organising coaching as well as sometimes delivering we're having a much more business conversation than we normally do I'm actually hearing a lot more openness to learn from each other uh, less defensiveness against any sort of more radical ideas that might be coming from some of the speakers that we might hear elsewhere and just that ability to recognise that as I said in, in my session coaching is a verb it's something we do and it's something that ideally everybody does so I think what this event has really inspired me to do is to go back to my EMA coaching network with some of the basics, some of the things that um, certainly from the UK practice point of view we've matured through and articulate what that journey was like to hear from them about what they're struggling with and where they're developing some good areas of practice and kind of co-create our future rather than trying to run it as a centrally led service. And, and I, what, I, what I've really learned today is some really simple techniques for thinking about the questions that they will need to answer in order to build coaching into their, their offer within their country in, in a way that fits them. I think the event's added some value to me personally just in terms of feeling less alone. <laughs> Sometimes I have a, a more um, radical view of what coaching could do and should do for organisations than, than I hear in some of the communities that I go in and speak within. And so it's really nice to feel like I'm amongst friends who've all got a very open approach to the future and the potential of coaching for organisations and the, the potential of coaching to drive really effective leadership but also really good cultures. That, that drive ultimately some powerful impacts for the world and for society. So that's been really inspiring. I really like the way Coach Source has brought us together as a community and has not done a hard sell on us at all. I really appreciate that, thank you. But I'm hearing some of the value, particularly when you're working multinationally, of having some of these services. And the concept of outsourcing is one that wasn't one I'd particularly been thinking about, but I now am going to be thinking about where and how can we outsource, whether it's externally or to other support functions that we've got internally within KPMG that, that could make our process much more efficient and effective and, and client-centric as well, to increase the sense in which we can make it client-centric.